Alright guys, so today's topic is, or question is, do you feel that those that are in power, those that are of mass influence are doing enough for our communities? Well, I mean, at the moment, you know, the community seems to be, you know, going a bit, a bit downhill in terms of the youth, you know, in terms of influ influential people, in terms of, you know, um, more... Um, more provisions, more provisions for you know young people. I just believe that it's just you know it's just out of control at the moment. So, so no, I don't, I don't think so. I'm not too sure about this, but if it relates to the question, there have been I don't know lots of killings in the area. A friend of mine, a friend of mine, um, cousin or nephew, sorry, got stabbed yesterday, two days ago, and this world is changing every day, but it's just, I don't think they're doing what they're doing to help this place become a better place. Yeah, I don't know if my treatment will be like very good because I'm permanently in the UK for like a couple of years, so my views might be right one but what I think basically according to what he's saying I, uh, I find our streets uh, kind of very dangerous you know and uh, the younger the people are the, dang the more dangerous they are so it's kind of a scary thing you know so yeah obviously we can expect from the government you know to do more things to give some more dreams to the kids to the teens um, something that they can believe in something that would be stronger than what they're actually doing because uh, we might talk about these kids but basically we need to know that around them what they're doing is what they see every day and it's actually what they are growing in you know so there's nothing else they can do because they wake up, they see this, this thing, they go to hit, they see this thing, they, they go to sleep, they see this thing, you know. So it's, it's a bit difficult, you know, for them. Um, so yeah, basically the government need to do more, more and more because it's first of all the responsibility of the government to do something for the people. That's what, why they're elected for. What do you think the government could be doing or those that are in power could be doing more practically to help our communities? Um, I mean, it could be supporting more families, I believe, you know, more families that are, that are struggling, more, um, yeah, more families that are struggling, you know, single parents and stuff and just, you know, kind of like zone in on them and see what's going on at home as well, you know, you know they've got to take some responsibility as well us in the community but in order to you know make changes it's a thing where I believe um, the community just needs to be coming together you know that's really interesting I've never really heard anyone say that that the government I mean, that the community should be doing a bit more in the homes and that's really that's a valid point what could the community be doing more that they're not doing at the moment um, just m checking up on their kids checking up on the, on, on the young ones making sure you know they're, they're not in trouble I just believe that um, if you're involved, then you know it, it, just, it just brings trouble. It just spirals, you know. It just brings trouble, basically. If you're not involved in anything, then sometimes you know more, more or less you, you don't really have to be worried about about what's going on and you know who's doing what and stuff like that. But I just feel that that we we, we need to take more responsibility and just um, you know parents need to be checking their, their children and you know just just looking at everybody needs, needs to be looking out for one another. You know, in terms of you know, like violence and stuff. I just, I just, I just believe that if you're not in, if you're not involved in any kind of you know affiliated culture, you're not affiliated with anybody that's you know doing doing stuff like you know what I mean, like just up to no good on the streets, then you know you should have to have to be watching what's what, you know, like your back and all of that, you know, stuff like that. You need to take responsibility. Yeah, I think parents really need to watch their children because our generation today is a big mess 
And I don't know why our generation thinks that killing others is good or why they think that that's their purpose in life. They need to find something else to do with their life. Maybe more youth programs or extracurriculums so that they're doing something and their parents won't be so worried about them. And they, the children don't have to wake up in fear every day thinking they're going to get killed and their parents are going to be mourning over them, being upset, wishing what they could do more or wishing what they could have done in time. That's my, that's my so. uh, yeah, what we can do more in terms of uh, development, I think uh, we can encourage, encourage each other more and more, more than what we are doing now, um, because it's always important when you got support, when you're trying to do something, for example, you might go through some uh, bad time and uh, you need a friend that can teach you maybe how to do some music. It's just an example. Uh, maybe you wanted to do the music, but you, you, you don't have the courage, you know, to, 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 to do it. So we can encourage each other. We can give, uh, I mean, more and more love, um, more and more um, apologize in the street, you know, not like straight away the bad reaction when you know something you know you something happened you know it's not all the time you want to do your attitude it's not all the time the attitude is good to do uh, it's not all the time we need to be the gangster and stuff you know sometimes we need to be as well um, yeah the, 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 the guy who is able to to, to leave a seat to, to, to a nanny for example you know it's just about education, common sense, and uh, love above all. I wish to us more, 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 love, because I think love is uh, the strongest uh, pow power, the strongest force that uh, is able to heal us. Love seems like it's really absent on the streets. It doesn't seem like it's ever there. And especially in today's society and our communities, it feels like there's no love. Why do you think that is? Where's the love gone? I don't know, man. It's just, you know... It's just, it's just how people are brought up. I, I believe sometimes, you know what I mean? The way people are brought up, you know, I think it, you know, they, they carry it out, isn't it? So if you come from a lovable home, then, you know what I mean, you show, show love probably to, you know what I mean, your friends, your neighbours and stuff like that. You're more, you're more likely to do that. But if you're coming from, you know, like a home where it's a lot of disrupt, disruption and stuff like that, then maybe... You know, it's a bit more different. People see, people see a different look on, on you know, showing each other love, like, you know. Yeah, I think love is everywhere we go. It's just our choice if we want to show it and give it. But if we are from a family that, you know, doesn't show any love or appreciate it, then there's no love there. But yeah, we can show love and give love and appreciate everything that we have all around us, all the people, friends, family, mums, dads. Where, where do we start though? Well, from home, I guess. It always starts at home. Yeah, um, for all the kids, uh, all the teens, all the people that are watching this video, if uh, you're struggling in life, if your life uh, was not easy when you were a kid and stuff, let me tell you something. Uh, you can have some hope. You can do something. You can make the difference. You can uh, do anything you want and you can be anything you want to be. It's always possible to get out of the ghetto uh, normally. It's always possible to like uh, uh, make your dream come true. Any dream could be artist, footballer, even politician. You never know. I mean, anything you want to be, you want to be doctor, you want to be anything. I want to tell you that it's possible. You can reach this level. You can do these things. And if there's some steps that are difficult, you might 
I don't know, go to church, get at your family, trying to find any help uh, and the people that are loving you well, they will be able to, to give you this, this help. But don't mess up your life, don't mash up your life. Uh, take the money, take the cash. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Lastly, looking from the community outwards, do you feel that anyone cares? Um, not as much as they used to, but there are some people that, that do genuinely care, that do genuinely care. But not as much as not, not as much as used to, you know, from from when I was growing up, you know. A lot of people just, just keep it moving, you know, just some some people just mind their own business, they try not to get involved, you know, and have their say, you see. A lot of people are opinionated. Um, yeah, goodness will always rise above this destruction that we're living in today. Um, there's always going to be someone who wants to change the world and live in peace and have love around it. By everyone, with everyone. Um, yeah, there's always going to be a person that wants to change the world for the better, and for everyone and for themselves. Much love to everyone. I totally agree with Bill, and I wish the best to everyone.